Okay, today you're going to see about making a, a bow drill friction fire using nothing but this sable palm or cabbage palm tree. So I'm going to see if I can fashion all the parts, including the bowstring, uh, uh, using this sable palm. Okay, we can see they got some uh, dead palm fronds uh, laying around. Uh, so I'll see if I can use some of those uh, to fashion the parts for the bow drill. Uh, just above me here, I've got uh, some uh, green fronds. So I'll see if I can grab one of those uh, to use the fibers to make a bowstring. Uh, just up near the base, uh, there's some uh, uh, palm hair, so I can use some of that for the uh, tinder bundle. Uh, so I'll see about uh, fashioning the set. Okay, here's uh, the pieces that I have to work with. I've got a, uh, a green uh, table palm branch here that I'm going to use uh, to make the... Um, natural cordage fibers for the bowstring and I think probably what I'll do is probably use this very end here and just cut a chunk off and use this as the bearing block and then you've got these other pieces here probably one of these I'll see if I can use as a bow and then of course uh, one will be the fireboard and I'll make a spindle out of probably one of these shorter pieces and then of course I got my uh, palm here just the tinder bundle material uh, just kind of got spread out uh, to dry in the sun a little bit as I fashion the set. Okay, here's my uh, fibers uh, broken down just a little bit more. And so far so good. I think it's going to work out well. I'm just gonna, what I'm going to do is see about doing a, a reverse uh, twist wrap. Um, to make the bowstring. Hey, uh, here's what I'm working with. Here's I've got my uh, bearing block. Put a little dimple in it. Just a live piece of the sable palm. Here I've got my uh, the bow with my reverse twist uh, bowstring. And literally all I did was uh, uh, just to keep it simple is just put a little thing and a uh, little notch up at the top of the bow and just split the twist of the bowstring to hook it on basically and just did that on both ends so this is the same way okay so here's my uh, bowstring here I've got it long enough to where I can do uh, actually I'm going to do several twists around the spindle so that'll be the next question is here I've got my uh, fireboard where I've just put my dimple in here and then uh, the spindle, like this here, and then with the bearing block up near the top here, so it's going to look something like this. Want to see if I've got good smooth action. Hopefully the bowstring isn't going to be too thick, or that the spindle is going to be too thin. So may have to make an adjustment. We'll see how it works out. Okay, here's uh, what I'm working with. I just uh, carved the notch on the fireboard. And here's my bearing block. And I actually took uh, some of the, one of the green leaves basically off the table palm to tuck into the socket here, the divot of the bearing block itself. So it'll serve as a lubricant. And the bow. Just got it tied off on both ends. and actually had to kind of tighten it up a little bit more. The, String did stretch a little bit, so I'm thinking I can at least get two wraps on this, and the bow bent flexes slightly, so we'll give this a go. Well, my first attempt, uh, I mean, I'd probably say I was about 70% there. And then uh, the bowstring started kind of weakening on me. And it looks like it got real thin right here. So like one of the two twists came undone. Um, so what I'm going to do, see if I can uh, salvage this, is just kind of do a big twist with what I have left. And I'm just going to hold the rest with the, my bow hand and actually feel for the tension as opposed to trying to tether both ends to the bow. 
Okay, my uh, first attempt was a dismal failure. But we're going to go ahead and see if we can I just carved a second divot with a not another notch and uh, we'll give it another go and uh, still using the same bowstring. Just going to choke up on it. Okay, so here's my natural cordage uh, that did not work out. It just kept fraying on me and it just would just get caught up on itself as it would wrap around the spindle, so uh, kind of bummed and annoyed at the same time. So I've yet to, to have good success using natural cordage with the reverse the, the, the twisted reverse twisted uh, cordage. So what I'm resorting to now is uh, my shoelace. So I took a shoelace off and figured it'll anything I'll just at least try to get success of some sort and also what I did is um, I don't know created a toggle basically so I just wrapped wrap the twisted the shoelace and then wrapped it around the toggle and then same thing I'll just hold the bottom end of the bowstring with my hand so I can adjust for tension because it is a little stretchy especially in comparison to paracord so and I also uh, improvised a sh new shoelace for my shoe <laughs> And actually just use one of the um, frond fibers uh, uh, just to at least hold my shoe on so I can at least still get around. So I ended up carving a third notch. So I think the set as a whole will work. We'll find out. And my bearing block is actually holding out, uh, holding up beautifully. So this is actually feeling pretty good. And just still used uh, like a leaf in here to add for low lubrication. So we'll see how it goes. I need to work on my cordage making. <laughs> 